We're here at 826 NYC, which is also the superhero supply company, and this class is Science of Superheroes. We have a lot of stuff on the agenda, so I want to start with our first activity. We started today with a brief uh, brainstorming activity about what types of superpowers do superheroes have that are super and what are their human powers, like empathy um, and respect for other people. She can hypnotize people with her eyes, she can chew marshmallows out of her fingers. And, and then write a poem about the different layers that superheroes have. I can put on some superhero music if that helps, does that help? Yeah. Just like humans have different layers and identities, superheroes do too. Under my superhero psychic scales, it's its skin. Under its skin is its heart. Under its power is the power to transform. We took a little stretch break, uh, and then we went into the engineering portion of the lesson. Do you guys want to make some planes right now? Imagine that your superhero doesn't have the ability to fly on his own. So what kind of a plane would you design for your superhero today? I think that the most important takeaways were, for today were to allow students to be design thinkers and um, to think about how they were going to design a plane or two designs of planes that were going to um, work with speed and velocity um, and travel far distances or be gliders um, and really have them think about what elements in their designs would allow their gliders to do and their planes to do different things. Today we made these really cool paper airplanes. It was really, really fun. I like to pick the backstory of my superhero. It's kind of like having an imaginary friend. Some students in the class who are more inclined towards writing and then there's some that are more inclined towards the science and math and engineering. Um, but I've seen both of those types of students sort of crossing over really well. Having it tie seamlessly together in that way and having students be engaged in hands-on things and interacting with these different experiments and activities and then, you know, thinking about their character and their superhero and what their superhero's DNA looks like as opposed to their DNA is a really important way to sort of get these concepts across and, um, and really make a really natural, genuine connection between STEM and writing. Mm -hmm.